Hi, my name is Willie Felton. Uh, I'm going to go through a little bit of a process here to install the ExamView Blackboard Quiz plugin. Uh, time permitting, I'm going to uh, do an export and show you how to do that, but uh, that might have to go to another video. So, um, I came across this plugin here on the Moodle.org uh, site. It's under this um, form posting. It's right, there's the zip file right there. The um, I don't believe this plugin is currently under the um, plugins menu. I have not checked recently, but when I found it, it was not there. So uh, I'm gonna, I downloaded this file right here, and then uh, that took me to right here. You can see I have a set of downloads here. There's my examview blackboard.zip. And the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, extract that as a folder. So there's all this stuff. Now this is the guy I'm going to move over into my Moodle directory, okay? So my Moodle directory is right here. Um, whatever your path is, mine's under, mine's a MAMP. This is my just my local copy. This is not my production server. So I'm going to move this into the question folder. Now the question folder is right there. Um, now I don't want to put it on this top level, I want to put it under format. And you can see, first of all, that I have a backup there, that's already there. But, um, but you'll see that these are the formats that uh, Moodle supports for the purposes of importing from uh, anything. So I'm just going to take this folder and I'm going to move it right over here. Okay. And there's my new um, file right there, there's all my information right there. Now this readme text does have some instructions on how to do this process. Uh, and that's pretty much what I'm following. Uh, there's just a couple changes that I've made, but um, I'll get to that in a second. So as part of this, I am running uh, version 1.9.2, uh, I believe. But um, if you, actually maybe it's 0.5. If you're, I believe if the instructions say, um, that prior to 1.9 point, I can't remember, five, or maybe it's two, uh, you need to make an, an addition to the Lang file. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up here to my main Moodle directory, and I can go to the Lang directory right there, and I'm using ENUTF8. Now, mine has already been automatically updated based on uh, what they said is a, there's a bug that was fixed. So, but if you needed to edit this, what you would do is go to the quiz.php. Um, I'm going to open that. Uh, I have it right here. And at the very bottom here, I'll try to uh, zoom in on that. Uh, you, this is the line you need to add right here. Okay. Um, what this does is this adds this uh, import option to the Moodle import menu. Okay. So when you click on import, this will show up. This is controlling the, the menu there. So. Uh, you just need to add this line. This text, if you can't read it here, is included in that readme.txt file. Okay? So that gets me, that's essentially the install. If that, you get there, that's gonna work. Now, I noticed um, when I was doing this, and it's been a little, <coughs> excuse me, it's been a little bit of time since I've uh, played with this, but when I was doing this, the, um, the essays, when I was importing essays, they weren't working properly. It wasn't importing answers. So what uh, I did was I changed, I went back to the exam view Blackboard folder and I edited this format.php. Okay, so I'm gonna compare the, the format.php files, um, what I was, was given uh, from the download and what I edited. This is my original um, val uh, file right here. Um, and for whatever reason, um, I have not plowed into this code very much, but um, the, uh, I believe all, most short answer questions are considered essays, okay? Process essay questions. So this, um, and my problem was is that short answers have an answer, has an answer included from exam view, whereas essays don't. So. What I did is I made a change to the essay question parser, and this is on line 518, um, and I made a change right on this line here. So right now it says essay, okay? And what I did is I changed that to, and if I go back to my, this is my older version that I've already changed, I'm gonna change it to, and there's again line 532, I'm gonna change it to short answer. And this, um, this allows um, 
it'll actually get, so you can see that the, the code is actually importing the question or the answer, but it does not get saved because essays don't include answers in, uh, in Moodle. So that was the small change I made to that. Uh, and then once it's working, once you have all that done, basically the installation is complete. All right, I'm now in um, my exam view um, program and I'm gonna do an export of this on version 6.2.1. So um, I am going to export this as not Blackboard 7.1, but it's 6.0 to 7.0, okay? Now, most of this information it asks for is kind of, um, isn't really needed. I'm just gonna put this on my desktop. Um, now, I'm just gonna, you know, test export, and I can export it. Now, it's gonna ask me for a lot of details. Most of these details are not used in Moodle. You have to fill these out for the purposes of exam view, but a lot of this information does not get here. So I'm gonna say section 2.5, um, I believe I read that the, the category should be named this or this title should come into Moodle, but honestly I have not seen it. Um, I put a directory in here, but I have, again, I'm not 100% sure that this does much as far as the Moodle goes. So, um, once it exports, so I now have that zip file located on my uh, desktop, so now I need to import it into Moodle. Okay, I'm back again. This is, uh, now I'm gonna do the import into the Moodle for the exam view, um, exam view test that I exported. So I'm here on my Moodle site. I'm down a little bit. I have a lot of things on this site, but I'm gonna go down to the questions area in my administration tab. Now, one thing I need to do, one thing I forgot to do several times is that I need to create a category to keep this stuff organized. Um, I have several here. Um, and I wanna create another one. Now, in this case, I've already created this for this section, but I'm gonna do it again. This is gonna be under chapter two, and I'll say it's section 2.5, part two. I add my category. This is really helpful on importing. So, what I'm now gonna do is go to import. Now, this exam view guy right here is the one I wanna use. This thing is here because of the addition I've made in the lang file. If you're on a later version of Moodle, you don't need to do that manually. Matter of fact, I didn't need to do that. So uh, it was happened automatically. So I want to import it into, and you have to select it here, otherwise it all goes into the same pot. There's my category I made, okay? I usually leave all of these the same. It says error if grade not listed, I, um, and stop on error. I have never had it stop on an error. Hopefully this will not be the first time. So um, I just need now to find my file. I go to desktop and let's see, there's my test export right there. So I'm gonna upload this file and you can see it is chugging along and gets everything. That These white areas are the pictures. And so I hit continue. Now, um, here's the questions. The uh, not have gotten updated. Um, I think I fix those. I don't, oh, well, there we go. So if your question or your answer is out of the uh, equation editor, this is what you're gonna see. It's going to be an image and it cannot compare the answer that the student enters as an Im to an image. So I have to change these to text. Um, so I would delete this entire process, you know, this entire problem and say, you know, the answer is f of x equals x cubed, for example, okay? And then the Moodle um, quiz module will, will compare it to that. I've also had to put in several different, you know, if, I, if the person forgot the f of x, I might say x to the third is your answer. Um, I can also use wild cards by saying star x to the third in case they use like a y equals. Uh, again, that's um, kind of a work in progress and somewhat ch challenging to see sometimes. I would want to change this to 100% since I'm accepting both of these as 100% answers, okay? So you have to be aware that if you do, that's the one thing, changes I do have to make is that if you have uh, images as answers, you're gonna need to change those if you want Moodle to grade it. Otherwise, it just grades them all incorrectly, okay? So here's my question bank. I can add them to quizzes. I can do whatever I want. And there you can see under this new section, there is 12 new questions. Okay. 
So that's the whole process. Uh, I hope that was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help anybody out there that needs it.